from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Happy Sunday, I'm Mary McKenzie with this 10 News update. More migrants are being flown into San Diego with the flu. In less than a week, the number of migrants being treated with flu symptoms has tripled. Now the total number of asylum seeker sick cases is 128 and that is since May 19th. As of yesterday, there are currently 80 migrants quarantined to hotels. In the meantime, there is still no end date for the migrant flights. A military service member was found dead in Arizona Saturday. That's according to the United States Northern Command. That service member was assigned to the Southwest Border Support Mission. The person's name has not been released. The incident's under investigation, but foul play is not suspected. Two survivors of the Parkland school shooting in Florida will speak in San Diego tonight. It comes a month after the Poway Synagogue shooting. The Lawrence Family Jewish Community Center had scheduled the forum before the Poway shooting, and now organizers say the Parkland survivors' visit could not have come at a better time. The forum is free, and it's open to the public. Thousands of runners took part in the Rock and Roll Marathon and Half Marathon today. The race is runs through areas including University Heights, Mission Bay, Mission Valley, North Park and Kensington. The race kicked off at 6.15 this morning. Took about 45 minutes for all of the runners to make their way across the start line. Participants get to rock and roll at the finish line, festival and post-race concert. Let's get a check of weather. Here's Mel. And it was a cloudy start today. Temperatures will start to warm up over the next few days along the coast, upper 60s for your high, and then we'll start to see the 70s once again. Pretty toasty in our inland valleys, where by the middle of the week it is going to warm up to the low 80s. Hot in the deserts, triple digits by Tuesday. Today, the mountains at 65. Mary? For the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com. You can also download our free app in your phone's app store. For 10 News, I'm Mary McKenzie.